Yeah, I'm ready. <coughs> These are just a few examples how I see it. Um, the prospectus is going to aim, because most of the people are aimed for younger people, I think it's going to be 16 till 28, maybe even older, but because me and Josh, we are quite old. <laughs> they still exist there, right? Um, I was actually looking for, because most of the brochures and the prospectuses we have seen are very strict, in my opinion, and that's not my cup of tea. So I'm looking more for a style of a scene, a more like um, relaxed way of looking at things, cutouts and different kind of papers overlaying each other. N nothing, not too much graphic design, I think more illustration would be fine. And uh, these are a few examples I found on the internet. Some of them are really different from each other. Um, the one above shows too many colors. It's not my kind of cup of tea. I'm looking more for monographic and uh, monochromatic colors, like um, usually black and white, but maybe red color tones. And I want to play a lot with papers, cut them out, make different shapes. Even if I'm going to use a very bad um, slogan, if I'm going to cut it up, it might look really attractive, even though it doesn't sound really good. Um, yeah. So when it's about the fonts and the text, um, I was looking for, um, for the way to play around with words. And I wanted to put literally like um, a strict composition where the information is going to be literally put into, the, into your face. I mean, these, young, these people are going to be younger. And it's not a university prospectus, it's a college prospectus. So I think it's going to be really magnetic, appealing maybe, if you're going to put a message and play with it around, like Tom Phillips did here in those two examples. Um, he made it a bit more complicated, so I took a few examples of actually students making something similar uh, as he did, so you can actually read what is the message. Um, I was thinking about the title font, Hell Denver, because I don't like it actually, but I think it might look really good with a short message, and it's free, and you can use it commercially for free, so you can do whatever you want, you can literally chop it off. I don't really like it, but hey, it's a college, right? Um, interview, I actually chose for, for now, I chose four people to interview. One interview is complete, it didn't went the way as I wanted, but that's not the most important point. The more important thing is that all those people I actually chose are different from each other. What I like about them is that they, um, they do interesting things, they are from different art departments. This girl, Anna Gostraya, um, she's doing photography, art design, and media, and she's also studying Russian. And she's very, actually, interesting as a personality. And that's what I want to show, but it's not about, yeah, you come here, you have a good career in the future, and sayonara. It's more about, well, you come here, and you're going to meet those people, and it's going to be fun. That's what I want to hear. So um, from all those questions I put on the list, I think there are some more, more or less some, but um, the prospectus wants us to hear, like, why did you chose Chichester College? You know, why is it better than the other colleges? I have to put it there, but most of the people actually don't want to answer this question the way as I want it. And um, this is like an example how I see those uh, people in a prospectus. Um, mostly an image, like Anna is like really good in photography, so she has a camera. I'm sorry, but you cannot see her actually having this camera now, but like I said before, I want to make a zany look of this prospectus. Not too harsh, not to put like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a photographer in the future. That's me and I'm making a photo like that. That's, that's really weird in my opinion. I want to go a bit more like stressful with this kind of um, things. Oh, and I forgot to tell, I, I'm gonna choose different people from different other departments. This is one person who's gonna be more related to photography. This is gonna be one person, uh, Max Andre, who's gonna be in fashion. Um, one person was from two years ago. He's already working, Dimitri. His illustration, and I actually have to find uh, two more people one from architecture and one from, I think, sculpture, and maybe some other people. I'm not really keen to look for people who are really good in something, I'm really looking for interesting personalities who can say something interesting because that's what I want to hear. Different titles uh, I made a list of titles I'm really bad with it, everybody, is know, everybody knows it, so I made a list, and on the end of the day, I'm gonna choose maybe one or two. 
and then I'm gonna make a hand, probably handmade uh, slogan or logo or title. Um, from all of these, for today, I would say um, make some the best. I like also creator, but um, it's very hard for me to, to say it now currently because um, when you put it on the cover, it might look different for me to play with it. So it's really hard for me to say it now. A few ideas with the cover, um, sketches, and how I see them composed. I, I look more for um, something, like I said, I don't want to go into graphic design, like literally like one title, that's it, beautiful background, and go on. That's not university perspective, that's college. It should be more relaxed, and I think it should be a bit more funny. So um, I was playing about with graphic pens, and for the day, actually, I like only uh, get mad with this face of a nut case. It looks really appealing to me, but everybody has their own opinion. A few more ideas. I want to make something really comic here with illustration. Maybe a mascot which will introduce every um, person to the interview or tell about the college story. I, I want to make it a bit like zine, so it must be a bit um, punky. I don't know how but this is a really good word for it. Um, I might play around with different pictures. I took from school like this one above and put, uh, like, like make this, this title. I, I'm not sure if it looks good. I don't like it, actually, but um, at the end of the day, I need to do something, actually. And this is like a page I did today. I'm just, I, would, I just want to show what I would like to see in the prospectum. I felt it, it really will, it's gonna look really cool if you're gonna show how the um, artists work or live because um, at some point these people are gonna do this. And um, I also wanted to make a comic for this prospectum. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do it successfully because my idea is actually to show some artist who came here and, and he is a bit more different from other people from this college. And I, I want to make it a bit funny. I don't want to put on too much pressure like I said before. And that's it. Yeah. Cool. Any questions? What makes it different to what Jazz idea is? I think you've both gone for like a magazine look. What's the difference? No, no, it's not a magazine look. I was saying it's a stand out. I want to make it like a zine look, like a bit punky, a bit like um, rebellic. Like, ah, you know, you're a young person, you come here, and do you want to put a really nice suit? I think you're going to be actually going after a lesson to go and have a beer. I want to make it more dirty look, like relaxed. Don't put too much pressure, it's a college still, you know. On the end of the day, you want to enjoy it, what you do, right? If you really are into art. So are you going to take love pictures of people drinking beer and put it on there to show it? How, it? how are you going to... If I had the choice, I would actually, but like this picture shows like there's a bottle of Smirnoff, you know, but there's still like graphic pens. So if I would have the choice, I would put, um, for example, this fashion student, Andre. Um, he's very, uh, he's, he's looking very weird. He, he puts really nice suits and people say that he, his, we don't know about his sexuality, but he's really interesting as a personality. And he likes to drink wine, but I cannot show him drinking wine. I just want to show something that you wouldn't expect to see in a brochure. It, it's, I think, um, a nice surprise, actually, because um, you will actually not see those things in most of those brochures. Show unexpected. Mm -hmm. Show unexpected, yeah. It's, it's quite a broad audience. I think and this would definitely atone to a certain audience, I feel. Yeah, yeah. It, it's very different from most of you guys. Uh, yeah, it's most. just, it's just if it's a prospectus, you're trying to hone people in to join the college. If you make it a certain style, very relaxed, you're going to get the very relaxed students that join. Yeah. Rather than, you're, you're very, you're targeting quite a very fine audience, I feel. You, 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 it's not broad enough, I feel. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very, you're gonna have more of the punky sort of, you know, relaxed, you know. I mean, not, not as, like, like, if you go back to one, if you go back to that drawing, which one, uh, if you keep on going, yeah, that. If you use that right one, 
it's very much going to be a yeah, very, yeah, yeah. very tight audience. This is just an example, as I want to put a bit of illustrations yeah. into it, like a comic, and then we had time to make it. We have all the cool. animation little kiddies, like, really excited. You know, yeah, the ones yeah, that yeah. stay at home and, and look at Magnus. <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, I think you've got an idea and the idea of it making it relaxed and making it, and I like the creativity. And, and Dan will tell you that I am really more bordering in graphic illustration than I am anything else. But you're not thinking about your market. No. Unfortunately, much as you might like this or you might not like certain things or whatever, design is about designing for your specific market. And nobody's going to pay you anything unless you design for your market. And unfortunately, your market, exactly as he said, are a wide range of a certain age group. And I don't think a great deal of what you're showing me here is is aimed at that market and would be appropriate for that market. However, there is some nice ideas. I love the really idea of individuality and, you know, this is an architecture student. Well, I could give you a few characters out of my 3D design group, and I'm sure you can for photography, you can, and they ooze it, you know. They walk down the road, you almost go, ah, architecture student, you know. Um, so I kind of like that idea. I do like that illustrative idea, but you need to home it into yeah. your market. Just and, um, kind of it, how you like it, you've got to grab it into your market. Also, you know when you said all the titles, all the different titles? Yeah. It's just me who said it, but I like them all as well. I didn't mind it. Uh, yeah, 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 I did, yeah, as, as it's, it's a good point. I liked it, I too liked that, yeah. that yeah. list Just, just as it was, rather than, yeah, all of, keeping it like yeah, that, keeping it like that's good. I mean, mm. is that meant to be important? I think it's fine. Have some fun and go with titles, cross out which ones you don't want, you know. Yeah, mm. make it more interactive. My, my biggest concern is actually um, not so much the zine aspect. I think if you get the paper right and if the typography and things are right, you, you, I think you'll appeal to quite a few people. Um, however, I'm a bit curious as to kind of what you're actually going to get out of these people when you're interviewing them. Mm. I'm mostly concerned about that. Uh, and actually a lot of us are saying we're going to go and photograph people painting or we're going to go and photograph people doing textiles. These things are much, much harder than you anticipate. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we yeah, well, exactly. And getting the right kind of communication from these kiddies uh, about their experience, who knows if they've actually got interesting stories to tell. And you are completely relying on a photo and some text that they say. And I think that could be a chapter in it, but I don't think the whole thing can be that. No. I think that you are hedging your bets. You've got too many eggs in one basket. And you need to, I think, like spread those ideas out, not just have kind of one idea. Um, you know, for an art student who comes across a few pictures of a few people, doesn't even look like an art student, really. You know what I mean? Like, she's got a camera. And, Where's the paint dripping off them? And you know, like, I, I, I kind of want to see more of an experience. A, gra a graphic illustration is a whole thing all on its own. And in order to achieve that balance, there needs to be a great deal of kind of experimentation and trying things out. And you know, it, it's it's a real it's a real design process. You know, it's a real and, and it's a and it's inside, and it's it's passion, and you should open it, and it should ooze, you know. And the good following on from that, it's about creating content as opposed to like collecting content. Mm. And I think we're looking for that from everybody a yeah, little yeah. bit more. That, that's, that's, maybe we that's maybe you know sentence. it's not just observed stuff, but like make a sculpture stick her on the top and then talk to her. I don't know, do you know what I mean? Like, But it's even visually creating content. You know mm. what I mean? Um, I can open up millions of leaflets with uh, repetitive 
pictures or pictures someone's gone round and taken of art students painting or of whatever, but it still doesn't, it still doesn't, they're informational. We need to have that information. We need to have some kind of link to that information. But if you're talking about a leaflet that oozes art, then it, it, it's a developmental thing. It's, it's combining picture and drawing, it's print and, and, and you know, I don't, you just gotta, you gotta get inside it. Oh, you've, you've set us off now, Bart. Oozes creativity. The words that I haven't hear, heard yet so far are, what is this institution about? What, why are you a student here? Nobody's actually explained that. Like, what are the core values that would, should be the mission statement for your, the beginning of your product? Do you know what I mean? Challenge, uh, risk taking. I don't know, I don't know what it is. You guys have to define that. I know why I study, you know? And actually, I know this is kind of really zany, but when I went to study, I really want to like study something really seriously in a lecture. I think there's a few students out there that still want that, certainly like A-level students. They, sti they still want to know that you know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. About, We're not just fluffy, woolly. That you're qualified. A number of times I've had people are well, what, really are qualified. Yeah, exactly. What qualifications do you have? Yeah. How yeah. You, want them? Um, you know, but also they want to, and, and I've worked in a few, many jobs, and I've worked in a few colleges, and the one thing that keeps me in this place is, and don't get me wrong, we have lots of stresses and strains, is the fact that generally speaking we work as a really good cohesive team. And and when we go in when you go in the art department, the students who stay and carry on here, you can feel that. You know, I'm often talking about Jacob and when I talk Jacob, you know, he just kind of fitted into my style, he's just oozy and passionate and you know, and that's what I'm proud of in this college. Bubbly personality. Sort of thing. Well, not yeah. just that, but passion. Yeah. Passionate. You can be quiet and passionate. You can be noisy and passionate. Every and that's for everybody. Think of what 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 texture does that does that have? Do you know what I mean? What shape is it? I went to Portsmouth University show two years ago, and they had the most beautiful poster that was really celebrating what they did, and it was bright yellow with a massive gold circle on it that looked like a sun, and it was like super happy, but it looked so well made. I actually stole one and took it home, and I've got it on my wall. Just because it was like, that's what I would put if I was going to put the colours of learning and studying together. Does that make sense? What we need to think about is those kind of things a little bit more. We're like still quite corporate, I think. Yes, yeah, it's a very cool one. Thanks ever so much for your time, Kim. Thank you, Bart. Yeah.